Well, Jeff, it was an unusual situation for CDC's advisors, who are usually meeting to vote on clinical recommendations for a product that's already been approved by the FDA. But today, they held an almost seven-hour-long meeting, largely focused on a decision the FDA hasn't made yet. Who should get the first booster shots in the U.S. beyond those already eligible because of compromised immune systems? The decision before them is just about Pfizer's vaccine, as that's first up at the FDA. Although some panelists pointed out it would be easier for the public if they made recommendations for both Pfizer's and Moderna's vaccines at the same time. It's not clear they'll be able to do that, and J&J's is potentially even further behind. But the CDC showed data looking at both Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines, focusing, as the FDA's advisors did, on those 65 and older. It noted protection against infection declined by 15 to 25 percentage points over the months when the Delta variant became predominant. It pointed out smaller declines in protection against hospitalization, but said they were more pronounced for those who got the Pfizer vaccine. If you ask Pfizer CEO, though, about comparing the two vaccines, he'll disagree. In fact, we did ask him this morning on Squawk Box. I'm not convinced that one is better than the other or it lasts longer than the other. Both of them are wonderful vaccines. I don't want to make comparisons and those that they make comparisons, they are on. Now, he pointed out Pfizer's vaccine was rolled out first in the U.S. and given to some of the highest risk groups like those in nursing homes. And that is a key group the CDC focused on today, noting that boosters for nursing home residents could help reduce cases, but that it's important to make sure that staff is vaccinated, too, to provide the highest protection. The CDC plans to meet again tomorrow, but it's waiting on an FDA decision on the booster. Bloomberg News reporting tonight that decision could be imminent and will likely follow the FDA advisory group recommendation. But if it's not in by noon tomorrow, the CDC may postpone. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.